Eight years does not diminish their memories. Today we remember the 12 people, an unborn child, killed in the shooting at the Century 16 movie theater in Aurora. It happened on this day in 2012. Heather Dearman is the 720 Foundation Chairman, and she joins us now from the Memorial Garden in Aurora. Heather, good morning. Good morning. So the foundation, I know, held its annual vigil overnight. It was a little bit different this year, but talk about what it was like. It was a little bit different this year. We encouraged people to watch our live stream and um, if they came here to join us, encouraged them to have social distancing and masks. But it was still very beautiful. Um, about 25 to 30 people did come here and um, join us for prayer, visiting of each of the benches, as well as watch the heroes procession. And so we were just very happy that we had such a good turnout despite all of the restrictions going on. And we know a lot of people were watching us live and they'll be watching our restream today. Yeah, I know, we'll talk about how they can do that coming up in just a minute. The uh, Heroes Procession you talked about, uh, to me that is one of the most emotional things every year. Uh, talk about what that's like to see these police officers drive through there who, who uh, eight years ago were uh, working to save people's lives. Even just thinking about it makes me um, choke up because they always are here for us every single year and they promise to be here for as long as they can for the coming years. But um, we are able to listen in on their radio call, which they silence all the radios across Aurora and do a moment of silence for our loved ones. And this year the announcement included um, that we do honor and appreciate everything that those men and women in blue did for us that night and they went above and beyond um, showing compassion and just went out of their way to save so many people including my cousin. Oh, that is terrific. How can the community get involved not only on this day but other days? Well, one of the things that our foundation does, and it's um, a symbol of why our um, 720 memorial is cranes, is we do the Paper Crane Peace Project, and we collect paper cranes with messages of love and hope on them. And it's a sign that there's more love in the world than hate. And also whenever there is a mass shooting in another community, we use those paper cranes to make a wreath and send them over to that community. And it's always so well received and it makes those who are writing the notes feel that they've been given some peace and healing as well. Well, Heather, thank you for all you do. And uh, I know that uh, everybody involved knows that we will never forget the, uh, the individuals and, and what happened to them. And uh, best of luck with you, thank you. Thank you, and we, we want to thank you guys too. You're here for us every year with always such kindness and compassion, and thank you for practicing no notoriety as well and remembering the victims, because that's what's important. Appreciate it. 